What's up Spartans? It's Dr. L here with Spartan Mind. I'm here every Wednesday helping you clear that mind so that you can focus more on your race and on other things in life that get you totally jazzed. So today we're talking about your pre-race mental checklist. Now, if you're out there and you're watching and you don't race, it doesn't matter. You can apply this to anything. You can apply this to a presentation you're giving. You can apply this to a first date. You can apply this to anything that you've got coming up that you may be nervous about. All right, so what do you need to do in order to prepare yourself mentally going into something that's important to you? All right, there's a few questions that I'm gonna walk through with you so that you can show up and be your best self in whatever it is that you have in front of you. The first is asking yourself, what does success look like, all right? So I want you spending some time thinking about, okay, if after this, my friend came up to me and said, hey, how did it go? And my response was, great. What needs to happen in order for me to say, great? What does success look like? So if you're out there and you've got a Spartan race coming up, does that mean that you're running a clean race? Does that mean that you're looking for a certain time, looking for a certain placement? Does it just mean that you cross the finish line? What does it mean to you? What does success look like? Same, if you're going into a presentation at work, if you leave that meeting and you think it went well, Paint a picture for me. Show me what that looks like, all right? So that's your first thing that I want you to think about. What does success look like? The second part is, what do I need to go in with confidence, okay? So what do you need? What do you need to remind yourself of? What are the mantras you need to use? The affirmations that need to be available to you so that you go into the race, go into the presentation, go into the first date with confidence, right? And I want you to think back about some of the things that have maybe been helpful for you in the past when you've had something that you've had to overcome, something that's been in front of you that you need to move towards. What has been helpful? What language can I use for myself that I find inspiring and motivating? Or steal somebody else's. Let's be honest, nobody has an original thought these days. We all take everybody else's stuff. Great, it doesn't matter. If somebody else has a useful mantra, a useful quote, or a useful affirmation, that's fine, use theirs. But again, ask yourself, what do I need to go in with confidence? And the third thing I want you to think about is what do I need to remain calm? Now, this is a really important one because whether you're racing, whether you've got that presentation or you're going on a first date, we all know that those jitters, those, those worry feelings and those anxiety sensations, they can sometimes flub up your performance, right? So how do you remain calm? Do you need to take a few breaths before you step on that starting line? Do you need to have an expression of gratitude before you walk into that big meeting at work? Do you need to maybe call a friend right before you open the door of that first date? Whatever it is, ask yourself, what do I need to do to remain calm? All right, so those three questions. What does success look like? How can I move into this with confidence? And what do I need to do to remain calm? That's your pre-race mental checklist. Make sure you are hitting all of those questions so that you go into it feeling powerful, like a warrior, and like you've got this, because you do. Thanks for watching Spartan Mind, part of the Spartan Up podcast family. Now we are here every day rolling out episodes for you, your family in resilience training. We've got episodes on mind, body, spirit, athleticism, leadership. We are here for you to help build you up so you, you can be the better human we know you wanna be. I'll see you next time.